Well, hello. Here's our Q and A number seventy four. Oh, getting up we're there. getting up there. That's the year we got married. That's right, nineteen seventy four. That's right. Had to think for a minute there. Graduated in seventy three and married in seventy four. 1974. We've been okay. married too long because we both went like this. Did we both do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sapphire. Let's go ahead and get with the questions here. Hi, everyone. Question. Have you and Papa O ever thought about going on a cruise or a trip for a few days a week for relaxing? Or a week. You or said. a week. I thought it said for a week. Yeah, or a week uh, for relaxing. Thanks for sharing and God bless you. Oh, is that what TFS means? Yeah, TFS means thanks for sharing. I'll start on this, okay? <laughs> okay. When I was on my... Uh, You're out of the frame. When I was on my... Lived in Europe <laughs> on vac permanent vacation for a whole year. I rode on so many ships, ferry boats, trains... And I decided... So you're kind of ferried out. Uh, I'm ferried out. <laughs> now, Shipped out, <clears throat> cruised out. I rode from Europe to the United States on a ship. For two weeks? Yes. Uh, yeah. And, this uh, is back with the slow boat. They had, a, they had a newspaper every <laughs> night and a dance every night. Ah, uh, fun. So you have no desire to do that? No. And I don't either. Well, I'm all, ferried all out is, yet. All you do is look at the water and eat and, <laughs> and get a suntan. Those are the three things. <laughs> and we could do, do that here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't sound fun to me to go on a cruise because, I don't know, what if I get seasick or something? I don't know, it just doesn't sound fun. Some people do get seasick. I know, they have to take uh, It depends on the weather, something. you know, time of year and the weather. And we like relaxing just here at home. Jo Papa, we, we, went oh. to we went to Boston, remember? Yeah, yeah, and it was alright. I, It was fun, but I missed the kids too much. That's and, right. Um, Let's see, I keep you in the frame here. Uh, yeah, Papa has been all over the world. He's been in 24 countries. He knows 11 languages. He's lived in Spain, France, uh, Italy, Italy, Sweden, Sweden uh, for a year. Germany, this is all before he married me. Germany. Germany, uh, S Switzerland. Yeah, yeah Switzerland. Oh, yeah. For two and a half years. For two and a half years there. And so he really has no desire to go anywhere. Um, I want to be right here with my yeah. family. And I never traveled when I was young, and I just don't care for it. I don't no, see... No, you've since been in all, most of the western states. How? When? Well, when? We, we went up to Canada three times. Yeah, and it was all right. I just like staying home. I'm kind of a homebody. Went up to, went up to Portland, Oregon and stayed there for yeah, a week. Yeah, I like twice. that because we can fly there, and I can go stay there with... Uh, but I don't like we've traveling been, in a been car. We've to California, Disneyland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're all right, but I don't crave it. I don't uh, desire to go. But that's nice of you. But uh, see, see, the theory behind that is get behind, a, get away, get away yeah. from the family so we can relax. But that's yeah. not our theory on. I just fun. don't. Yeah, I miss people too much, and I can relax here. So, but that's nice of you to ask that, though. Okay, three Bart boys plus. When you were building the second story on your house, did they have to take the whole roof off? Good question. A good question. And where did your family stay during the construction? Um, I'll post a video right here of when we were adding onto the house. The kids were little. Our youngest was two months. And um, we'll post a video, but we stayed right here. See, we had a 1,200 foot uh, tw square foot of space down here, and it was a slanted roof, yeah. slightly slanted. Your hand looks big. Oh yeah, and <laughs> slightly slanted, and so they just hooked it on. What would you call it, a well, they, they flat have to, roof? They have to slant it so the snow, water yeah. on the snow will drain so off. So it's probably bit. slanted four inches from the middle of the house down. So that all they had to do was just uh, build on top. They didn't have to do anything. They just hooked into the beams. Hooked right into the, the beams, yeah, so. Uh, we just lived here. It was what six months. How long did it take? We about? stayed in the house the same. Yeah, we just time. stayed in the house, and every day we'd have the kids go out and clean up after the construct. The guys were done doing their work, and we'd just do the clean up and put the kids to work. But that's a really good question. Okay, let's turn the here. Really good question. Okay, Helen Gay. Great vlog as always. A question for your Q and A. 
What is the music playing in as your background music? And any idea on how we can buy your iTunes from the UK? It's not available at the moment, even if I log into America, an American site. Thanks. Okay. So, I'll explain okay. That. Uh, you can't log into iTunes online because all they try to do is sell you Apple products. And, and over on one side, it'll say download. It wants you to download the app that it is either on your computer, a program for your computer, or if you're on your phone, you have to have the iPhone app. And then all you go, once that's what you open to find, find the music. And then you just go to store and do a mm -hmm. search on Pollyanna and there it is. And I'll post below the instructions on how to do that and hopefully you'll be able to get it. Uh, she says she's in the UK and that, and she, no, that, that iTunes shouldn't matter, should it? iTunes works the same over okay. the whole world. You have to, you, you, there is no music on the iTunes.com website. That's for selling their products. Yeah. So I'll, the instructions are below where it says show more and, and that'll show you how to do it. And that's my songs. I post songs that I've written and that I've sung, and uh, and sometimes I post my sister singing too. And she, there's no way to get her music. She's figuring out how to get it on iTunes. And anybody that has a phone, they'll know how to get music off iTunes. Yeah, so hopefully you'll be able to get that. And um, it's on iTunes. You should just just go to the app on your phone. And app on your phone type in, or the program you've downloaded for your computer, either one. Yeah, and type in Pollyanna, Million to One is the name of the album, and it should take you right to it, and you'll be able to buy the song that you'd like. But the and let me know if the that iTunes doesn't work. The app is specially for getting music. The, the iTunes.com is especially for buying new iPhones. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Sherry Baby. Been loving your Q and A's also the story and the story times. Can you tell us some things some things about being a Mormon? I find religious beliefs very informative. That's good. What goes on in temples? Uh, what goes on in temples? And are they the same thing as a church? Can anybody convert to being a Mormon? If so, is it a long process? These are all good questions. Thank you very much. If you could do a segment about that, love you. Um. Let's see, what goes on in temples? Uh, let's say being on a mission, I kind of know. That. Okay, go ahead. Uh, there are sacred ordinances. For example, we believe when we get married, it's for time and all eternity. Mm -hmm. That is the life after this life. So we make promises inside the temple to each other that we will live uh, certain ways so that we can both be together after this yeah. life. And these they're sacred promises that we make to each other and to, to, to God. God. And yeah. that can't be that's not done just in a regular church meeting. And, and we don't say till death do you part, we say forever. And then then we covenant, we promise that we will stay faithful, that we will obey the commandments and we will all our gifts and talents will be uh, you know, used for good. Don't don't hide your gifts and talents. And those are promises we make with God. I, and you have to mm -hmm. be living according to what you believe. Mm -hmm. And you have an interview before you can go in the temple because we don't want people going mm -hmm. into the temple. It's a very sacred place just because of the nature of the promises we make yeah. make to God and to each other. Yeah. Uh, you can't have people that are going in there and making fun of it. So it's it's different than church because church anybody can go in the church, but a temple you have to have what's called a recommend, and uh, to get a recommend you just need to be a full tithe payer. That's ten percent of your income, and keep the, word of keep the word of wisdom, which means no drinking or smoking, and you have to be and you obey the commandments, and you have to be morally morally chaste, clean, clean, morally uh, clean, yeah. And that it's not that hard to get a recommend, but but uh, you meet with the bishop and he asks you these questions, and if uh, and then you are able to get this recommend and go into the temple. And the bishop is not like a bishop in a Catholic church. Our bishop is more like a he's pre, not a paid. Pre, yeah, he's not, he's paid. not paid, and he's he's but he's somebody that has a that gets called by God, and mm -hmm. uh, and he's just like the father over our ward, and a ward has about. 
300, 800 people. It's kind of like a parish in a Catholic church. Yeah. It's a local group. Mm -hmm. and, and, and anybody can join the Mormon church. Uh, you just talk with missionaries and they, they teach you about uh, what we did before we came to earth and what we're going to do after and what our purpose is here on, on this earth. It's called the plan of salvation and it's not that hard. And I'll post some links to the LDS. Uh, LDS means Latter-day Saints. Uh, Mormon is a nickname that, uh, Good. Were, that we were called. Uh, because we have the Book of Mormon, so they nicknamed us Book of Mormon, but we're actually the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The Book, Book of Mormon is the prophets that lived in ancient America. Their prophets wrote down on plates, mm -hmm. on golden plates, and... Brass and, and metal. covered a period of a thousand years. And Here in America, yeah. before we got here. And, and the so biggest thing that's different... Tells the people that lived here before us. Biggest, most important thing about the Book of Mormon, it tells about the after Christ was crucified he mm -hmm. visited the Americas also and he set up his church here in America so there were two places he visited he visited in Jerusalem and then he visited here in America and so the Bible tells about his his life in um, Jerusalem, Jerusalem yeah. and the Book of Mormon tells about Jesus the lives of people that came here and lived in America before all of us and tells when Jesus came to visit when and he was crucified. He, and he set up his church here in the Americas yeah. and there's a lot of remnants of that in the uh, Native American traditions like mm -hmm. they have baptismal fonts. Yeah, it and, shows uh, all those remnants. That they had prophets. And, and uh, to become a Mormon it's not a long process. I think there's what five lessons the missionaries teach. They just teach you about before before we came, why where we came from, why we're here, and where we're going, and what our purpose is. And so it doesn't take long to convert to be a Mormon. Okay, so, and if you have any more questions, ask about that, and I can post some links below. Okay. Depending on what city you live in, almost every city, if you see two men in their early 20s mm -hmm. with little badges or on them. Or girls. Oh, yeah. Or, or ladies, two girls. Little badges on them. Uh, they leave their home for about a year and a half. The girls a year and a half, 18 months, and the boys two, two years. years. And they go yeah. out and tell people about the church. Yeah, just tell about Jesus and, and uh, the plan of salvation. If you, if you smile at them, they may start saying, <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't run from them. They're very nice. And they're just little fellas. They're very clean And the girls people. are just so nice. They just choose and they don't get paid. They have to pay for their own mission. Uh, it's probably about... I don't know, ten thousand dollars. No, I don't know. It's different. It's well, different. Well, yeah. they, they pay about. They either there's either they save up for the mission or their parents pay for it. But it's they pay to go out on their mission. It's not uh, if they want to go. It's about it's five hundred a month for them. Five hundred a month, something yeah. like that. Okay, yeah. It, uh, it used to be it depended on what mission you were called to. But the prophet of the church, uh, when somebody wants to go on a mission. Boys at nineteen, uh, boys at eighteen, and girls at nineteen, and you send a letter into the church and uh, to the church prophet, and they give you a call. Is that a Sherry Baby? Oh. What singer are you? Sherry Baby. I don't know. Cher? No, that's no, that's her uh -huh. song from the fifties. I know. I Sherry sang it baby. last time. Last time when she asked a question, I kind of Sherry Baby. So I can't do it again. <laughs> I already did it. But even though it's tempting, I know, I, even I, though it's tempting I to sing, hear that tune in my to break head. out, I know to break out in the song, and she probably gets tired of it too, you know, Sherry baby, or she likes well, that's it. That's not her name. That's probably I know, or she likes it. You'll have to tell us if you like it or not, because uh, it is a fun name. Okay, so if okay. you like that, you're probably from the fifties. You, you like the fifties, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, and let me know if that if you want to know more about that. Okay, uh, let's I think we have time for one more. Do the bicycle one. Okay, Kath, I think we have a time for a couple more. Kathy Conley, Mama O, have you or Papa O ever heard of a penny farthing bicycle? I have a question. Is it a, are you talking about an exercise machine or okay, are you I, talking about I a had to look it up uh, and it's a big, it's got a big front wheel oh. and then a little wheel in the back. And we've never ridden on one, uh, but it sounds like a lot of fun. That, See, I've, I've actually taken a cross-country bicycle trip from Salt Lake to Eastern, what, Eastern Canada. 2,555 yes, so miles. But I've looked at 
in the history of bicycles, you do see those bikes mm -hmm. in the history hub when they very first came out. They, they had that they huge looked, but, wheel, that really big. I mean, it's, but they're not too practical for transportation. Yeah, but we've never ridden one of those. But that was a good question. Let's end with one more. Helen Gay, um, great vloggers as, as always. A question for your QA. What is the music playing? Oh, yeah. Uh, we already answered that one. What is the music playing? Is it's me there? singing. <laughs> you play Judy some, some sometimes. Sometimes I play Judy's, yeah. And okay. Some, no, Somehow some, I got that question Rosanna, twice. Rosanna, sometimes you just play uh, kind of nursery rhyme songs, mm -hmm. too. Uh, on my, during the video, but when I end the video, I always put one of my songs out for okay. one of Judy's songs. So we got to get our songs out there. Uh, went to a lot of work to get those songs published and stuff <laughs> so might as well let people hear them but um uh when, just back to joe's bike trip uh that he's put it in a book uh his bike trip because he kept a journal so if you want to get that book and tell about his bike trip he's gone for about a month this is before we married and that link is below where it says show more and it tells about Joe's bike trip. I was what's it called? Can you remember? Uh, uh, if you just look my, up my name, you'll see it. Well, I have a link for it. Oh, do you? But it, it'll have a picture of a person on a bike. But it's not Joe. It's just a picture. Because you didn't have no, a camera, No, if they just look you? up my name, Joe V. Orgel. Yeah, Joe V. Orgel. It on, tells about... On Amazon. Yeah. And, and the link below, it's got... Oh, how many books did you put up there? A lot of them are journals from my, Jur my grandmother. He my, took all his journals and my, put them in books. And my mother and hi history of my the grandparents mm -hmm. and great grandparents. It kind of ties in the genealogy yeah. that. And it tells about it. Well, it tells you about your bike trip. Uh, it's it's quite an amazing thing uh, of how he rode his bike from here to Quebec, Canada. Hundred miles a day, I averaged. And he took Sundays off. Sun up till sundown, and I ate slept outside and I kind of avoided mm -hmm. invitations to sleep at yeah. somebody's house because they you got invited a lot because they, they wanted sleep. to talk and I just wanted to go to sleep because <laughs> I because I woke up as soon, soon as the sun started getting or well, as soon as it got light I would uh, get packed yeah. up go go eat and I had a small savings to eat in a restaurant yeah uh, so that that's quite a Quite a fun thing Two, for 2,555 miles. miles. Well, you know it. I know, yeah. You've heard the story I've heard before. the story, <laughs> But that was back when you were 30. I was 30 years old. 30 years old. Because I did I, my first marathon at 50. Okay. And I would have been uh, 14. And I started rollerblading, years old. rollerblading at 61. At 61 and did a marathon at 50, rode a bike at 30. Uh, what would you do at 60 again? I started, ro oh, started rollerblading. Oh, rollerblading. Yeah. 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 And then in the 70s, Not, he started doing his running and. Um, again. Again, yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll end with a couple of quotes. Uh, let's see. The uh, Let's see. The same road goes both up and down. So just remember, don't you don't, you don't want to say, well, this road's going down. I, I want to get on a road that's going. I was re up. reading some. Uh, some things on a French website because I, I have a degree in French. Master's degree in French. Yeah, a master's yeah. degree in French. And this was in French and I translated it to English and it says, Happiness is not a destination but a way to travel. Yeah. In other words, on your way to your happiness, yeah. that that's as good as it's yeah. going to get. And you, and you notice when you're you're on a trip, what what make what's fun is the trip. The trip. Yeah. When you get there, that's fun too. But the tri trip Finally is fun. Finally, you say, I just want to rest. Oh. <laughs> and I don't know if any of you have seen the movie Fast Forward, um, but it, the guy he just wants a fast forward remote control that fast forwards his life. Oh yeah. And he misses all the fun things along the way and gets him to the end of his life. And he goes, I missed it all. Who, I who missed it that? all. Oh. Is it a comedian I'm thinking guy? Jim Carrey, but Oh. Um I think it is we Jim Carrey. Up. And and it's just such a good message. Uh you want you don't want to fast forward past sometimes you want to fast forward past the painful things, but we need those to grow. But, and but people keep saying 
Like when you're little, you keep saying, oh, when I'll, I'm a teenager. I'll be happy. Uh, yeah. Or when, when, when I get my degree. When or, I get married. Or, when I have kids. When, when, my, when we have children. When then our kids I'll are be, gone, then I'll be happy. When I graduate, I'll be happy. And, and you think, no, be happy now. Because um, the journey is what's fun. Even the painful parts. Because how are you going to know joy if you don't know pain? Yeah. And so we need those painful moments and 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 in that movie it ends up with him he gets a second chance and he's he is able to go back and and, start and not life. fast forward past past all the things that he can, missed can out on. Show? But just enjoy the ride and um don't fast don't wish that you could fast forward past the moments because that's those moments is what makes your life. That's your that's life. It. And then you could sit back when you're that can older. Be right down that quote. These moments yeah, are what make you is what make makes your life. life. Yeah. And um and just remember that we're we're here for a reason. We're here for a purpose. We we are where we are on purpose. It's not an accident where God put you. And then while we're here, what are you supposed to be doing while you're here? What are your gifts, your talents? What are you doing? And I'd like to say, what are your eyes looking at? What's your head thinking about? What are your ears listening to? What, what is are, your what mouth are you saying? To and what are you? S yeah. What thinking, is your mouth saying? What are you thinking about? What are your hands doing? And where are your feet walking? It all matters. So yeah. Uh, just know that uh, there is a God in heaven. He's watching over. He's your daddy. There's a mother in heaven. They want want you to come home, and we're here to be tested to see what we do with what we got. What I am is God's gift to me, and what I become is my gift to God. Who writes so, it down? <laughs> it's a quote that oh. I had memorized. But uh, enough of that. So we got to uh, end our, our, our uh, vlog and just let you know that we appreciate you guys. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and thumbs up. <laughs> and thank you, and good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> I know.